What's going on everybody? Today I'm doing the endurance playlist around Hockenheim. 34 laps around the track and I'm using the Matra Simca. I'm just going to call it the Matra. I believe I'm the only person using it in the lobby. I could be mistaken. I didn't set a lap because why? It is the endurance playlist. I guarantee you people ahead are going to make mistakes. I could have very well qualified in top 3 if I wanted to, if I tried. Because this car is powerful, at least around this track, I think. But I decided not to. Either way, we're going to kick it off here shortly. Hopefully doing well. Uh, I'm running a very nice delivery. I'm going to leave the gamer tag of the creator in the description. And hopefully now the race will start. Like I said, 34 laps. And we're running the, I believe it's the sport tire, but I could be wrong. Either way, we're about to kick it off here. A lot of Ferraris. There's actually a healthy mix. But we're off here. The Ford, who was just rapid, but he was crashing into people. Either way, we are in 11th. Right in between these two. Oh, getting squeezed out. That guy is gone. The other Ferrari is just gone. The Ford in front of me here. Not going to make a lunge on him, but it looks like he's going to make a move on the Ferrari. I'm going to get the Ferrari a tap. The F GT is going to tap the Ferrari as well. And I'm going to face the consequences, obviously, since I was the first to do it. We're in 8th place with a hefty time penalty to start the race. But, hopefully, we uh, will keep our nose clean for the rest of the race. Hockenheim's a pretty easy track to do. so. But, 33 laps. I thought 34, but 33? Will I be able to keep it clean for that many laps? We will see. Seventh place is what I occupy right now, and looks like the Ferrari went wide there, almost into the sand. This car is powerful. Almost into the rear of the Ferrari there. Both went kind of deep. A lot of penalties there. Holy. All right. Yeah, 2.7 is going to be brutal to deal with, but people might just accumulate the time. I'm behind this Ferrari, and I'm gaining pretty heavily on him. About two tenths out, three tenths out. As the number climbs, and we will try and chew it back down. Gaining on him here. I'm going to probably try for the overtake. On the straight would be perfect, but on the hairpin is probably going to be the case. That is not ideal. So we don't lose out too many places on that. Luckily, I was actually very quick to recover from that. Thank God, because I was ghost. But another mistake like that could jeopardize my race completely. So, I gotta kind of keep it in check there. And, you know, like, it's an endurance race. I got 33 laps. I should probably just play the wait, the waiting game anyways. So, I'm gonna catch up to the band of Ferraris here. The first one is 1.3 out. And we're chewing the gap slightly. And we are starting the third lap now. I don't know if we're getting a bit of slipstream. 
there's a good chance we are accidentally downshifted there into first but we're coming up on turn two and getting a little dirty with it but we're gonna chew the gap ever so slightly yet again on the Ferrari And we're coming up on the hairpin. Hopefully keeping it in check this time. Taking it very slow, but yeah, I don't want to really make mistake through there again. That'll end up costing me, like I said. The the people behind whoops, the people behind there, uh, about five seconds out. They are really nothing to worry about. Rather, the person who is behind. Getting a bit dirty there. All right, we kind of dropped back a little bit that lap. You know, we're not really doing too hot there. So we're going to have to kind of chew the gap back down here on lap four. We're nearly four seconds out on him, and it's not ideal. Not where I want to be. Might have caught the grass a little bit there. So that'll help me a little bit. Yeah, the gap's still three and a half seconds. Uh, I'm trying to chew it down here slightly. I am by, you know, margins on certain portions of the track. The gap behind, 10 seconds. You know, we did pretty well through there, but we're still losing out on the Ferrari ahead. So that is not good. Very bumpy.
not terrible, but we're still managing that three and a half gap on lap six now. The pit window, I'd imagine, is. Ooh. Uh oh. Um. I did get a time penalty for that, yeah. Of course I did. Um. Alright, well. Anyways, I'd imagine the pit would probably start in the next lap or two. It looks like somebody had is slowing down and had quit. So, we're in eighth, and the bunch up ahead now are pretty far out, but I kinda need to, I kinda need to chew that, that gap back, but they are fighting. So inevitably, they will be slowing each other down and I need to I need to start managing a clean race. No more mistakes. Although I did not really think that wide turn in, turn one really prompted a penalty. But then again, whatever. Um, yeah, five point eight ahead. So I said we need to kind of fly back, and that is not how to do it. So the gap now, seven and a half, and we're on lap seven. Gap behind, however, <laughs> is 14.2. So we are kind of, we're putting ourselves in a, a very lonely spot. But we'll see what happens throughout the race. Like I said, we're going to try and chew back that gap. Hopefully here. got minor tire wear in the mix looks like people are going in the pit I am running full fuel so honestly we'll see what people are people are doing I'm gonna go in obviously just to not be running on on minor tire wear next stint I probably will but um, I need I need to claw back desperately here so we'll see what we can do. It looks like everybody had put full fuel in. I didn't really check. Should have checked. But it's alright. Coming out. And the person behind went in the pits as well. So lap eight here. And we're heading in turn two. The people ahead are seven seconds ahead, and they are going to be battling each other. So we could be climbing back slightly here. We're on newer tires, so we did go for the undercut theoretically on the people ahead who had not pit. So we'll see what we can do. We're going to try and set a decent lap here. It would probably help me not so much a decent lap but 
We're going to make up in the corners here. there that doesn't help obviously but we are doing okay Looks like someone did pit ahead, but they they are obviously up there in that bunch. There's a group of four now. Still seven and a half seconds. Not really making up on them at all. there All right, we're about to start lap 10 here. The gap now, 5.7. Kind of clawed back slightly, so it's good. Um, we're slowly taking time off. Lock up, lock up, lock up, but made it work. And we kind of chewed that gap pretty well there. Down to four seconds, 4.1 on the Ferrari ahead. I believe it is a Ferrari. It is red. It is the 4GT though. 2.7. He actually hasn't pit now that I am looking at it. So that... That explains it a little more. Ooh, getting caught on the wall there a little bit. One dipping off track. He as well dipping off track, but we're gonna dodge him. So the actual gap ahead now. Whoa. Anyways, the actual gap ahead now, uh, actually after that abysmal mistake, is 7.3. I'm quite surprised that the uh, Ford is staying out, but he is, so...
Not bad through the hairpin. I don't think at least the gap ahead 6.7. Uh, we're slightly climbing back. And we're kicking off lap 12. 43.5 on that lap. Our personal best. We're going a little wide on turn one again. Hopefully. I don't know, man. No penalty, thankfully, from the game. And the Ford behind finally has pit. I believe the person in front is also in the Ford. So, we'll see what we can do with that. Slight dip, not ideal. Five tenths, half second on that. The Ford ahead, Ghost, for whatever reason. Try and catch up. Slight wobble there, not great. That is absolutely. F oh my god, man! I I can't even. Can't even. So. Oh, that is actually that is last place. I don't know what I'm thinking. So I'm in seventh off. So there must have been a DNF at some point. Or I'm in sixth now. What the hell is going on? All right, I'm in sixth. Either way, person ahead, 10.5 seconds. I got a a gap to chew if I want to have a chance at like fifth or fourth here. Now, honestly, the only reason it'd come to me is if a mistake really happened. But we'll see. I mean, we overlap somebody. The Ford, the two Fords are in last. And I'm not really too sure what's in front. It could be a Ferrari, or it could be a Matra. too sure where my tires are gonna go might be at the start of the slap or the end rather and we're gonna do one more lap once they hit minor like I'd said yeah we're gonna do one more lap on them just extend them out slightly
minor tire wear. So this is the lap. I predicted that they would start at the end. So we're going to do one more lap on him. We're in fifth place now. About to start lap 15 here around Hockenheim. And we're gonna have minor tire wear all around on the car. Pitting this lap, and we'll see. Nobody pit, anyways, so not that I notice. So it looks like everybody is extending, anyways. Chewing the gap down ahead slightly. It was ten and a half for a little bit, now it's nine and a half. So we are making some time. Maybe struggling for grip or something, I'm not sure. Moderate tire wear now in the front left. Yeah, like I said, we're going to the pits and not really risking much more. Heading in to the pit box, and the guy ahead is 6.9, and maybe he will be that coming out, I'm not sure. And I'm also not sure if anybody needs to put fuel in their car, but I reiterate on that, you make or lose positions on that big time. He's going out though, I saw him in the, the ghost. So, we're coming out as well. 2.7 a pretty standard time and we're coming out presumably in fifth yep so the guy had 7.5 seven and a half seconds we're coming in turn one and we're gonna we're probably going to maintain position for a little bit. I mean, we did make up three seconds on him during the the whole tire dying diabolical situation. So, we'll see what we can do now on lap 16 here. Gap ahead, 7.4, so, I mean, kind of maintaining the gap, it has gone up and down throughout the lap, but we'll see, 
I mean, maybe if we're consistent enough, we'll, uh, we'll have a good shot at fourth. Oh no. A snap is what kills me, man. It kills me. The gap ahead is now 10 seconds, 10.2 and climbing. We're on lap 18. So. Hope is it's not necessarily fading, but it's looking more difficult, that's for sure. We'll see what we can do, though. gone off track again all right so lap 19 here got 10.2 and we have oh no I already know yep just give it to me hurt my rating even more game I mean given I make the mistake but geez Louise so we are in fourth I mean a lot of DNFs that follow suit as you know as most endurance races go and person behind has not made his second pit stop yet and he's 45.3 out the person in first is 55 and a half seconds out and the person ahead is 12 and a half so I mean We've got a pretty, you know, big uphill battle to climb, but honestly, the DNFs are really, they're, they're what's going to give us any positioning, really, or any mistakes to follow suit, although I'm one to talk as I say that, so no penalty for that one, I would hope, game. But you never know. Oh, oh, slight dip for that. That one might. Oh, no penalty. Wow. All right. So, about to start lap 20. 
coming across the line here momentarily. And all we can really do is just kind of take the car home. And that's all I should really care about. Shouldn't really push too hard much more. I mean, we'll see though. bit wide there yeah Lap 21 now. Still in fourth, and we nearly have five seconds of a time penalty. But not really much of that matters. So. An easy podium would be awesome, but I'm not too sure the top three are willing to quit. Person behind still, no pit. Or no second pit, rather. So. Uh-oh. Had to tap the e brake there for a second. Tires are at 40% as well. A four stopper actually might be on the horizon here, which is honestly expected. I'm I'm pretty sure the last race I did in this playlist, which was the only race I did with the 512S and uh, you know it was around Spa and I believe it was also a, um, a four stopper. Some people actually did three but it was four for most, me as well. We're on lap 22 in the Matra and we're coming up on turn two. Hopefully Taking it relatively clean, as one would predict. And person had 22.3 as the time sheets glitch. The person behind 54.5. So again, no man's land, pretty much. But the name of the game is keeping it clean and bringing the car home. Got 11 laps left, so just gotta gotta kind of maintain pace here. Minor tire wear in the front left. Per usual, that is the tire that is screaming the most, honestly. 
So I could take a peek at the telemetry when we're down the street. Or now, rather. So, I am curious. It did look like it was the one that was heating up the most there for a minute. As I take that pretty, pretty horribly. Um, we're going to see through turn two. I'm going to put it away. Yeah, I mean, I, it makes sense. Whenever I hit the curb, that bitch heats up quick. So, they're all in minor right now. So, this lap looks like the lap we're going to pit for the third time now. And this is the moment we make up on the person behind. So, or in front, rather, sorry. So, let's see what we can do here towards the end as I dip as well that is not ideal eight tenths is what I get for that not good say that It looks like, looks like nobody else is going to go in for the pit, but I'm going to be the person to do that. I'm going to be that person to head into the pit here. The person behind, still on a one-stop strategy. 65 seconds back, however. So, I'm going to be the first person to make the third pit stop but I am kind of in my own realm so to speak so I'm not too worried about it expecting a 2.7 yep there we go 2.7 oh two heading out in fifth fourth fourth presumably there we go And here we go. Here on lap 24. Person behind now making his second stop. He's really extending those tires. That is crazy. That Porsche behind might be the Pearson in first. So I need to get a hustle on. I'm not looking to get overlapped for even a second here. So, I'm going to kind of make the move. And hopefully he goes into the pit this lap. So, the person in third now is 18. Uh, I hobbled it again, man. Yeah. Person ahead now, 18.5. So, we'll see. But uh, not much on the prediction sheets here.
All right, so we're starting lap 26 now in fourth with a seven second time penalty. So, like I said, trying to keep it clean, but I am doing quite the opposite. Alright, we're coming around the final turn here on lap 26, starting 27. I see two people ahead on the map, a couple turns away, and that's just going to hurt me even more. No penalty though, so the person ahead is 25 seconds ahead, so the race ahead is pretty much gone. Oh man, no penalty, thank god. This game is making me nervous, giving me very crucial small penalties, but I just need to kind of be careful. I am doing them to myself, so, but they are frustrating, obviously, I mean, why wouldn't they be? But either way, coming up on the lap, to finish the lap rather, on to lap 28 now and like I said the only thing I don't really want to happen now is to get overlapped and the people behind are the people in first and second so I need to I need to kind of chug along a little bit um, obviously they are faster but one can hope.
I'm not too sure if the person ahead is the Ford or or the the person in third. It could be either or though. Pushing along nicely here, so just got to be careful on the hairpin. One crucial factor on the track that has messed me up previously. And then there's a big thunder strike outside my house. I honestly, I think I just felt my house rumble. But hopefully my internet doesn't go out. That that just and the whole video that would be terrible i i'd be upset actually sitting here doing this for this long but it's been good fun i mean i guess in the beginning i mean a little more competition would have been nice and obviously the inevitable people leaving you know can't really help it but it's what happens So, we're on lap 30 now. Herb Hoblin. I have a slight feeling the person ahead is the Ford. So, that is my prediction. We have done the hairpin pretty beautifully, so I'm actually happy with that. Minor tire wear here. Oh, that is not good. It means we're on a pretty bad strategy. That's pretty offset. Either way, I mean, it'd be hard for us to kind of lose any positioning. So, it's just the inevitable, are we going to get overlapped? You know. So, we'll see. This is going to be a, an interesting last couple of laps here. But we're on lap 31. And we're coming down the straight. Our tire wear. 54.2 is the worst. And yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm hoping here.
So, looks like it is the Ford GT in front, the GT40, and, you know, we had the potential overlap from here. 102 and a half seconds out, the Ford is from me, and he's in my sights here. Moderate tire wear on the front left. It is going to get very dicey. The GT40 is struggling as well. But he's pulling away from me slightly here. I don't know if I'm actually able to get a slipstream off him. Given the fact he is ghost, but it would be pretty cool. So let's see. Ford taking the hairpin at a snail's pace, it looks like. You see the Porsche in the distance over there. We just passed. And then the Ferrari. So. The GT40 here, trying to get past the Ford, who I honestly thought was Ghost, but is not, weirdly enough. Um, it's very interesting. The car is becoming increasingly difficult to handle, but yeah, I don't know why he wasn't Ghost, so he was kind of holding me up a little bit which sucks um, however the Porsche I don't really think has a a chance to catch up to me unless I really mess up uh, the Ford here I'm I really hope he just sticks behind me even if I'm slow uh, he's gonna try and unlap himself this not really what I'm looking for I'm not really looking for a, a battle on dying tires. Uh, Mr. Ford here. I am I'm at a an awe that he's not ghost right now, but doing a lap to unbattle himself on the final lap. This is absolutely awful I just severe tire wear now in my front left 70.2 on the front left just the, the car is screaming we covered the GT40 off get him out of my sight man I don't want him anywhere near me anymore covering myself on a, a car that is handling like a cow on wheels come across the line and he's gonna unlap himself in the end he really wanted to and he got it but that was an absolutely long and crazy race either way I appreciate you guys for watching like subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys in the next one